So let's take a look at what Hobbes has to say. So what question is Hobbes trying to answer? He's uh, taking a bit of a different approach. So we can't just come right out and, 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 and you know, kind of tackle it. We have to go a little sideways to figure out what Hobbes is doing. So let's go a little bit into the details. So what is your one obligation according to Hobbes? You have an obligation. You have at least one thing that you must do, can, cannot fail to do. And what is that one obligation? Well, for Hobbes, that one obligation is to protect your own life. You're not obligated to do anything else. You're not obligated to look after somebody else. You're not obligated to uh, look out for the well-being of society. Nothing like that. You're obligated, your one obligation is to protect your own life. Well, from this one obligation, you have one thing you were forbidden from doing. You were forbidden from ending or threatening your life. So you can't, so not only is it the case that you can't end your own life, you can't put yourself in a situation that makes your own end inevitable or <laughs> more likely than anything else. Okay, well, here's a question. Have we heard something like this before? Well, sure. I mean, this is starting to sound a little bit like Glaucon. Glaucon's gonna tell us that you have, uh, that, that, that your interests are most important. Whose interests are most important? Your own. Well, Hobbes basically agrees with Glaucon at this point. Glaucon thinks that your interests are most important, so does Hobbes. Okay, so Glaucon and Hobbes agree on this point. What well, does that mean they agree on everything else? 